Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Grand Prince Masifa. Now, uh, I wanted to go over a couple of things. I was told that the um, recorder for Windows 10 doesn't have the uh, cursor. And that would be really, really annoying. So, I, I'm just doing this with fraps right now. Uh, the reason I don't like OBS all that much is because it's it's uh, harder to record a secondary audio stream with with uh, with OBS because it does a little bit of a, I don't know wacky encoding and it messes a little bit messes up a little bit with my oh jeez that's so great oh we could attack. Uh, if we only we had enough piety, we could attack for Egypt right now. I don't know if we want to do that. There's a good reason to do it, though. Because there's the end node of a, uh, a Silk Road thing here that's rarely blocked by war like the ones up here in this area are. See, um... Because we can't see a place that's blocked currently. But India seems a little bit more peaceful, so if you can get something that's just like here and then up here, it could be really nice. Um, I don't know, that seems like a great opportunity for us. Uh, do I want to take advantage of it? I don't know. I don't know, it depends on how long it takes. This guy's got 11,000, and this guy's got... Probably more than that. 20. So he's got twice as many troops. I could... See, now I don't even have a CV for that. Because uh, I'm not close enough to attack the Caliph directly. Um... I could holy war for Alexandria, though. Let's do it. I gotta go for the gusto here. Anyway, um, recording a secondary audio stream. Wow. Recording a secondary audio stream is pretty important to me because it. Um, a lot of times I have background things going on and um, just stuff that I want to cut out and. Uh, having having a secondary audio stream means that I can edit that stuff out. And right now I have a little bit of a sniffle going on, so I might edit out some sneezes and stuff like that, but... Um, just for example, a lot of times I will have uh, interruptions and I will edit out what the interruption was. So you guys won't hear what it is. Um, and I'll just cut the videos together. Like I usually do. Um. Oh, another thing I wanted to do. I already have the known murderer trait, I think. Yeah. So I should just murder this guy so that I don't have to spend as much money on uh, on that stuff. So um, I'm back to using Fraps. The frame rate seems about as good as it ever was, really. I mean, Fraps tends to record slowly on Paradox games anyway. It's still really the best option for uh, video quality and stuff like that. Um, and you know, you can't record two different audio streams on this either, but it has a, uh, a relatively lossless AVI output, which is very easy to mess with. Um, but things that have MP4s and stuff like that are a little bit more difficult to deal with because they're they're compressed, and then you have to compress them again when you run them through various types of uh, encoders and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more uh, a, little, a little bit different. And I'm not sure if my, the video and audio quality of my recordings is. It's high enough to really merit such worry, but I, I do. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Hell, I've deleted a lot more recordings than uh, than a lot of people probably realize. I've had entire series that uh, 
I just haven't released because of that. Um, and I sat on the Persona 4 recordings for several months before I released them. Um, as a matter of fact, at this point, I don't know if anybody who watches that watches these, but one of my, uh, my co-commentators moved away. This is Taishufin. Or at least is in the process of doing so. Uh, go to jail. Well, that, that, that's some polite things. So I may not have the same two uh, guys for that. Although there are things you can do over the internet. So let's get as much money as we can out of this. Okay, that, that's probably good enough. So now I have 500 bucks to do stuff with. That's great. Come on, me. Let's go kill this guy. Let's take some good dudes. Let's check it out at the last minute. Special character actions possible. Go into hiding. Mm, that's not good. Uh, apparently, I found a plot to kill me. You! Why do you want to kill me? This auto stuff, all these plots. Get on my face. Oh, that's the dude I just, uh... I just banished. Oh, there's no reason to kill him then. Alright. So this guy is feuding with... God! This guy is just such a jerk. Everybody feuds with him. I'm still gonna side with him. Uh, he's more important. He is a... Duke Vassal. My tree is closed. Yep, we're running down the trade post. Speaking of trade posts, how many can I have? So I have five more. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Once I start, stop getting an increase of them. So that was four. I can start thinking about upgrading them. <sighs> so how fast are you losing? He's not losing at all, actually. After a hundred years under the papacy, the Prince Archbishopric of Ladium, I think, is no longer considered as your part of yeah, Ladium. It's no longer considered church as your part of the Kingdom of Italy. Anyway, about the Persona 4 thing, I might have to finish that game on my own. Jayad, he's ugly. Which should be okay. Uh, I'll try to work something out and see if I can get. Uh, some of my co-commentators to do a little bit. And, and you know, it was my fault. Uh, I was delaying a bunch of that stuff, so I can't blame anything. But, oh man. <laughs> wow, when it rains, it pours for the Caliph over here. I've also had a little bit of trouble with my audio recordings for this stuff. Um, it seems a little muffled sometimes. I don't know if this recording is going to come out like that, but I've had several recordings of this very session have to be redone because of that. So, I'll probably leave it as it is because it's kind of late right now. I usually do these in the morning, and one of the reasons I need to edit out stuff is that I tend to have to edit out a lot of coughing and stuff like that, so... Hell, man, if I if I get enough money, I can even... Uh, I might be able to 
to do an invasion of Egypt. So what are you down to? Yours down to 26. <laughs> this guy's got 48,000. But he's actually low on money. Hmm. I need 600 gold to give him money. The AI tends to cheat, though. They don't necessarily um, get the same penalties when they're out of money that we do. You won't give me your levies, why not? Stupid... Oh, Vikings. The Vikings are annoying in a kind of fun way. I like how this guy is mad that I'm defending his lands with his with his levy. And then the Caliph died. I don't even know how to pronounce that, so you're gonna be a duel. Now, how about Masiba? My wife's pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Ooh, and she's got the lover's pox. That besets me. Looks like you're gonna go to jail. Now that doesn't end any of the revolts, does it? <laughs> it looks like his name is Coward. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what his actual what his name is though. Now this would be a good opportunity to kill him and put a five-year-old on the throne. So does he have less troops or more troops than his father? It usually doesn't matter when an inheritance come in because uh, oh, looks like they, they already won this. Okay, so our window of opportunity ended because of that. Alright. Looks like it's just against the Byzantines now, and I, I... I don't know, the Byzantines tend to fuck up a lot. Alright, we'll keep them on the border there, just to see if anything happens. Kill it. Dying was the best thing that ever happened to that guy. <laughs> so... He's clearly more suited to become a marshal. have the crazy trade apparently. Alright, whatever. I if anything, this gives us time to accumulate some piety and do an invasion rather than a holy war. And if if things go the other way for this war and the Byzantines start losing very badly, I can maybe attack the Byzantines instead. Uh, patrician... Yes. Patrician will pay for it. Let's see. Can I go in Ramadan? Observe Ramadan. Yeah, let's do that. Get some more piety. Well, I want the Ramadan. Woo! Party like it's Ramadan. Party. We'll probably not actually do the party. Let's do the one that gives us actual piety. The best you observe during Ramadan has taught you the value of moderation in all things and the dangers of indulgence and excess. If you're closer to Allah, I get temperance. Temperate. Nice! Wow. That's really good. I still don't think I want to send the money, or spend the money on this, because it's a lot of money. Uh, well, let's not invite our vassals. We don't get a penalty for not doing it. Let's not give our wives anything either. Nice. Okay. So that's good. 
Raiders. Oh! Oh! Here he is! I thought he wouldn't do it because he's orthodox, but he apparently he converted to Zoroastrian! Holy crap, this is a different guy. No, it's not. It's it's the same guy. You know what? I, I don't think it is. I don't think this is the same dude. I, I think this is just a... This is a, uh, a coincidence that he has close to the same name. I was excited there for a minute that we were going to get see the Seleuks, but no. I think because he is... He is, uh... Orthodox. That we're not going to see him do anything. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I might go into the save file and change it so that he's not, so, so, so that something happens. Because it's just a shame that... I don't know, I, I've seen the Seleuks invade, like, once since I was playing this again after, uh... after that stuff was added. Stark stands over here. Oh. What? It's, it's weird seeing a, another Merchant Republic. That's all my shit. Get viked, Byzantines. So, uh, I guess the king was trying to take his land, and thus he... Is there an plot offer from us? Okay, so he is ending his plot. I actually kind of wanted to imprison him. And that would have been a, a good thing for me. Then I could spend less money, even. Oh well. I guess the non micromanagement of having the uh, automatic end plots is a little bit more easy. <sighs> I was really excited there because I thought it was the Seleuks, but it's not the Seleuks. So he won his, uh, his thing. It's too even to really tell who's going to win here. And it's probably not going to be much of a fight. They'll probably end up skirmishing a little bit and then... Doing... S um, how about Wahab? I'd like to see some stuff happen over here. I know that they're Catholic, oddly enough. Oh, well, some of these are Zoroastrian. Jerks, did they just... No, he didn't actually destroy the trade post. I don't even want the trade post over here. Okay, how many how many more trade posts can I have? Uh, three. So that's too expensive. I can continue them over into Egypt, but it'll cost more money. This seems like a safe spot. Even if it'll cost extra. The 
seems like a safe enough spot to do that. But I've been doing a lot of uh, consideration of things that I want to do with this game. Um, I, I had this idea for doing uh, several different things. I, I wanted to do some Horse Lord stuff. I wanted to do something with uh, India. Because I've never done anything with India. Um, I also wanted to... Uh, to try to do a world conquest in, in CK2. I have, I've never bothered to do that, and uh, I think that, that I should redo my Byzantine game and do that. Uh, I didn't quite get to the point where I was the Byzantine Emperor in that anyway. So it feels like kind of incomplete, but a patch came out and interrupted that, and I don't think it would have worked very well. Then, more freaking Vikings. Look, you Viking jerks. There's more Vikings. I see you there. Can I kill you? No. He's too well liked. It's interesting that we're seeing some uh, African-looking dudes. It's because of the um, the events that have the the ambassadors marrying people. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. I like how West Fran or Middle Francia, uh, what, oh, West Francia is in Middle Francia. I guess they do have the uh, things. There's a lot of commotion at the docks. Crap. Lost money. Great. Now convert the province. It's one of my provinces, man. One deer. Gotta. I think that was his brother's name. Mohammed and Murad. Those were the two twins. I could be completely wrong. Man, this is a cluster over here. Oh, Ruthenia reformed, for the most part. What's going on here? King of Lithuania. Are you a Viking? Yes. Okay. Culturally, I think there's some Norse here, okay. No matter how many issues you deal with, there is always more demanding your attention. As the cacophony of quarreling nobles echoes through your court, you suddenly snap and push your way through the bewildered crowds to reach the exit. You get the stress trait. That sucks. Mastermind Theologian. How much does this king title cost? 200 gold? Yeah. Maybe I'll create that set. Uh, get rid of this this cluster over here just give it to to these guys then have this guy outside of it that seems reasonable your war's absence. He's winning that quite handily. I'm not sure why. I think the the AI mismanages the Byzantine troops so much that it's hard for them to win wars a lot of times unless they have a huge number advantage and they don't right now.
Actually, they sort of do. Oh no, no they don't. They're, most of their dudes are dead. I guess now would be a good opportunity to attack the Byzantines. Hmm. Follow us. Follow us. I don't like that. No, how about... Siva. This is my favorite dude. <laughs> the pinch, Prince Bishop of Burgundy. Queen Asagundus the Usurper. Nice. I was, gonna wa I was wondering why they, they're not East Transit anymore, but I guess it's because there's no... Well, no, she is a Carling. Uh, Frankish is in the German group. Central Germanic group. Uh, I guess that's fine. Slavic Pagans. Uh, so there's Svibjad now. I guess there's Svibjad again? He has one. He has one province. <laughs> Svitjad. They, they, a lot of times will unite completely. And it's interesting that that hasn't happened in this game. We haven't seen anything close to a, uh, to our religious reformation. I think Slavic is pretty close. They probably don't have the moral authority to do so. I would think they wouldn't. What's going on with Ruth Ruthenia? <laughs> Lots of wars. Well, all right. Let's cre let's create this king title. Uh, this will actually make the guy dislike me. That'll give me one prestige, though. So, uh, this will make this guy want my title. He'll be like, I want that king title. That's only a minus 20, though. This guy sucks because he's ambitious. We'll keep it for now, since I don't seem to be getting a penalty for too many kings. Too many kings titles. Whoa, that is a lot of friggin' Vikings. More Vikings than that guy can deal with. Okay. So hopefully the audio turns out okay on this one. I tried to mess with the settings a little bit and see if there was a a Windows 10 update to the drivers or anything for my microphone, but I guess we'll find out. I'll probably deal with this Viking and check on the war. My wife wants to kill me. Most of my wives are Sunni, so I should really have them to convert when I bring them in. She's already. She's already done that. What's her title? Sharubano. Sharbano. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Everybody's converting. Get out of here, Vikings. Ooh, Sima. 
<laughs> What's going on here? Valencia's claim on Aragon. Wow. And they're winning. This province is attacking Aragon. <laughs> Duke Evangelos the Terrible. What a great name. Maximus the Cruel of Bulgaria. Some really cool names going on here. They do hold the province over here. Turkestan's winning currently, but who knows how long that's going to last. Farouk Ironside. Awesome. The Salmonids. That's a familiar, that's a familiar name. Maybe we'll see them take over this part of the Abbasids if they break up enough. I'm thinking if we get, if we can uh, find an opportunity to invade for Egypt, that we'll see a lot more bad stuff breaking out. But I think that's good enough for today. I will see you next time on Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, and hopefully things turn out good with this. And uh, maybe we'll. Go after Egypt once we get enough piety for an invasion.